Well, my name is Aymar Alvarado, and uh, I'm a multi, um, multi <laughs> I, I do performance art and music <laughs> and paint. And you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. uh, my name is Hector Tobar, and I'm from Mexico, and I live here in Canada, and I'm a um, graphic artist. But I like to do uh, films, photography, and other uh, art as well. And like you see right now, I'm going to present one of my films here with Aymara. I want an amazing friend I have for so long. But myself here in Canada is like taking advantage of to, uh, to be around with people. They like to do the things I like to do as well. So I'm really happy and lucky to, to be here anyway. I can tell you one of the... Uh, it wasn't my favorite, but it's one that I won't forget. <laughs> it was my 15-year-old birthday, and uh, I wanted to go to the roller coaster. So I went with my first boyfriend, and uh, he said, like, we should sit on the back, so the back it moves like... It runs, 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 and it did, it did move a lot. But the thing is that he was hangover, and he threw up. Well. <laughs> I think I born with that and I feel like all my creativity I do all the time is based on you know, ideas and I see around me, friends and that inspires me as well. So since I was a kid I was like really feeling these artists beside me because my mom is one and I, I think that helped me a lot to find my way and my myself and that's why I like to do it and keep doing it until I die. This is a plan. Oh, the importance of storytelling. It's um, to know our ancestors, to keep the knowledge of traditions, um, to be in contact with our past, it's part of our DNA, so this this so history bring us uh, something from the past that we can use myself, in the present uh, moment. And it helps a lot for art too, I think. Actually, yeah, it helps me to connect shape. with uh, this me, creation the, uh, that is outside that outside of me, that it's it's not me, that it's this people, creatures, spirits from this his from this his stories that are with me and they are giving me their hand and, and guiding me into into the performance into into the music yeah one time in a um, few years ago I had the idea to just create an installation piece uh, working in galleries have this opportunity to, to see installations inside and outside, but this time I, I decided to do an installation piece outside on the winter time. I like to do projections, so the idea was to project in this installation piece. And for me it means a lot because this is the stuff I like to do. And this is be, this video for me was more like, I like to share it with someone. And then I have this amazing friend that she would like to do something here. So the installation piece was on the snow, outside, uh, February around that time and I was like super cold for me but at the same time I was feeling the energy because I was working in that piece and I, in the beginning I, I didn't know what I was really was really really building and on the end it's like make this crazy piece and I called my friend oh Mara I have this amazing installation piece you would like to collaborate because I know you are a performance artist and I know you can do it, and uh, let's see what happened. And that was the first time we collaborated with them. Well, the space was what you what you built there. It, it was very inspiring. It felt it like in another world, kind of. And also winter kind of looks like another world, also because we're from Me we're natives from Mexico City. Uh, well, not Mexico City, but Mexico. So it's different. Winter is very different than here. Yeah. So. This 
um, exotic snow was very playful and and I was invoking these inner creatures that wanted to come out in winter and they are kind of like cannibalism kind of sometimes I felt it um, and it was kind of aggressive but at the same time it was it was pretty ethereal and, and spiritual and, and strange.